And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Abzan Rampage. That's right, we're going to be playing some Rampage of the Clans in Standard. If you don't know this, four mana instant from Ravnica Allegiance with a... I, I, I guess I didn't know the flavor text. Pretty cool flavor text there. Rage. Rage until the whole world burns. But that's right, it's three and a G for in an instant. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments on both sides. For each permit destroyed this way, its controller creates a 3-3 green centaur creature token. So what we're trying to do here is we want to make a lot of artifacts and enchantments. And then on our opponent's end step, since this is an instant, we cast Rampage of the Clans, destroy all of our artifacts and enchantments, make a ton of 3-3 centaur creatures, and attack them for lethal. That's kind of like the combo of our deck. So we need to have we need to play a deck to be able to play this. We need to have a, a like a lot of ways to make a lot of artifacts and enchantments. Um, our first way is very obvious. You know we have our witches of in cauldron familiar gilded goose. You know we have we have just like the food package uh, where we can be sacking cauldron familiars to, ma to be making food. We got trailer crumb that enters as an enchantment and an artifact, so that kind of gives us two right there. But then of course trailer crumbs we can use that to to just um, find a lot more permanence and everything. We got more food with Golden Egg. We got Othakaya, which is an enchantment being removal. But then we have our spicy one, Smothering Tithe. Three and a white for an enchantment. Whenever an opponent draws a card, they may pay two. If they don't, you create a treasure. So hopefully our opponents just aren't really paying two, and we're just getting a lot of treasures, and we can just amass a bunch of treasure tokens and also amass a bunch of food tokens. Um and uh do both of those and then rampage of the clans boom so that's our combo that's what our deck's about um you know we have besides rampage of the clans is an instant so we don't get to find it from trailer crumbs but besides that everything else is artifacts and enchantments that we can find you know like realm cloak giant bola citadel also it can help us get you know a bunch of stuff in play for our rampage of the clans um over in the sideboard, you know, I have like Giant Killer because you can find that with Trail of Crumbs. Um, same with Othakaya, some Knight of Autumn. You know, like I think we have a, a pretty good deck here also. So I think this deck's going to do pretty well. But let's play our league. So we're going to play our league, uh, try to win five before we lose two. And let's see if we can get a five win league with Rampage of the Clans and a Smothering Tithe. Storm that that new girl mythic isn't isn't that great. It's it's fine, but it's not that great. It's not gonna dominate standard or anything. You don't have to be too worried about it. We we can still win games when we don't have Rampage of the Clans. It's not like it's not like we're gonna be relying on Rampage of the Clans and we there's no other way for us to win. I know Oko was never fine. It's it that gruel card is not on Oko levels at all. I'll just play this over playing Golden Egg. Smothering Tithe. I should not have played that land. Okay, because we could have just gotten like a shock land or, you know, that we want to play untapped there. I shouldn't have played that land first. That Smothering Tithe is perfect.
We're going to be doing it. Devotion means that the um, the mana symbols on the battlefield. Right now, my opponent has two devotion to black. Because see, like the top right hand corner, that's this has one devotion to black. This has one devotion to black. This has one devotion to red, and so on. All right, so smothering Titan play. Are they gonna pay two? Are they paying two, or are you giving me a treasure token? Wow, paying two? Wow. Not even giving me any treasure. We got a Scrooge over here. It's Christmas. We're not even getting any treasure. It looks like we may be able to kill our opponent next turn. Depends on what happens here, of course, but. Or like not not like next turn, but like the turn after next, you know, kind of thing. Like like next turn we like surprise rampage of the clans for a whole bunch. Yeah, again, devotion devotion means how many of the mana symbols you have in play. Right now I have one devotion to black with the Cauldron Familiar, one green with the Trail of Crumbs, and one white with the Smothering Tithe. It's like the red-green god counts as two devotion on its own because it, it's one red and one green. You look at like, you just look at the, you just count out the mana symbols. Bird, bird, bird. The bird's the word. Bird, 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 bird. They're not giving me treasure tokens. I'm sad. It does slow them down, of course. They have to tap two lands every turn. And it's slowing them down. You can do six damage. I'm down to 15. Uh, that's still a pretty healthy life total. Nope, not you. Yes, you. So, of course, destroying their Stone Coral Serpent would give them another... That would give them a 3-3, three, because, three, you know, like, the, the Rampage destroys all artifacts and enchantments, so the Stone Coral Serpent is an artifact that it destroys. So they're at 16. They'll have two blockers... 
right now. Ugh, they have three blockers. All right, let's see how we want to do this. Okay, so we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can sack this for nine. We have nine. Nine times three is 27. 27 minus nine. It's still enough damage. That's 18. We're still good. Oh, plus I have removal, too. Removal's good. Rampage of the clans! That's awesome. All right, that's just game one, though. But yeah, we got to Rampage of the Clans. All those centaurs. Okay. <clears throat> so I think we want Realm Cloak Giants. I'm not sure about Vraska. Is Vraska too slow? I'm going to chop things down. Seemed like our our game plan worked pretty well. Do we just not play Smothering Tithe? Because they're just fast, they can just pay two pretty easily. As we saw there, they, they got to play pay two quite a bit. Smothering Tithe's cool though. I think we probably just do this though. That was pretty sweet. That was that was exactly what we want to do with this deck. That was perfect. Mold again. Yeah. All right, this could be a hand that we lose. This could definitely be us losing. Black Lance Paragon. I will block. They didn't believe me. I 
That was not a good trade for them. All right, just in case we need uh, swift ends, we'll have swift end available or make a food with the goose. And the same thing here. Ponsan must be really bad. No. Okay. I just threw up a bunch. By throwing up the pain medicine, I just just trying to give him. Uh, that's not good. Could be because of his empty stomach. Yeah, I don't I don't know what they kept. They haven't really done anything. Just a paragon and a bone crusher giant? Do they keep like those two and five lands and just only draw lands or something? Maybe they just have Ember Cleave. So I don't <clears throat> so if they have removal do I still have lethal if their last card is removal we'll have we'll have eight creatures no so if they have a removal spell we don't have lethal I don't expect them to have a removal spell because we have Gilda goose but still I, I want this to be lethal so we can wait a turn The goose. Making three threes every every turn. You wouldn't expect it, just the goose being two mana tap, create a three three. Like that's pretty strong for a one drop. That's 
That's pretty strong for a one drop. Yeah, Legion's End, not an instant. So that's why I want to make sure that we kill them. Yeah, that they wouldn't be able to, like, Legion's End. Yeah, if we don't have lethal right away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, that's true, Dr. K. I could could have just clicked the number to attack with all of them. That's true. Instead of clicking on each one. But they're centaurs. So I like having both trailer crumbs in place so that I can crack a food next turn and then have the two mana to be able to trigger both of them to get two more permanents. Um, really either deck. RX, I said, which the best deck? Jeskai Fires or Simic Flash? What should you recommend focusing to crafts? I mean, either either one. You, you can do good with either one. Um, it kind of depends on which one you enjoy playing more, which one that you can pilot better, which one you you can sideboard better with, um, all that kind of stuff. It's basically whichever one you, you're, you would like playing more and whichever one you think you would play better, do that one. Could have this surprise 12 power in play, even right now, but it would give them 3 power also by destroying the Witch's Oven. Sakram, a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Sakram. That is our 10th sub of the day. Awesome, got that sub goal. They have so much mana. I'm jealous. These murderous riders aren't doing a ton for us. Smothering tithe. Ugh, give me that mana. If they have Legion's End, this is bad for me playing the Cauldron Familiar right now. I'm kind of assuming they don't have Legion's End main deck, but maybe they do. No, we don't have any Crowther Canariums in the sideboard. And 
Meldelvian, happy holidays. Yeah, Smothering Tithe does does make Tezzeret's tick up better. If you can get those extra artifacts. Could also just help you cast more spells. This could be a longer game. A longer match. My opponent needs to worry about this time, this 26 minutes. How slow, how slow they're playing. This this could be if we have three if we have three games of this, this could be one where they time out. Don't you forget it. Basically, I want to see. I want to try to hit a land drop here with these trailer crumbs. Especially a a black manosaurus would be the best. There we go. Of course, we had the treasure token that we are still going to be able to cast the Murderous Rider by using the treasure token, but now I don't have to use the treasure token. Cool. I'll take that. Cool. I'll take that, too. Sweet. So our swift end just killed the, the Garrick and both the Tutus. Hey, Nuga Gris. Merry Christmas. definitely have to worry about taking too much time they're already at 23 23.58 or whatever this game is just going now any land drops Goose is so good, though. I'm kind of hoping we find another land drop here. Yay.
All right, we got two Smothering Tithes out here. I'll be surprised if my opponent's paying four mana a turn. So yeah, now we just have to try to stall, stabilize. Yeah, let those treasure tokens roll in. Trying to get Hawkeye to eat his food, of course, as y'all know. But also just petting him because he's just got back to the vet. All right, there's two treasure tokens. I'm so glad they're not just attacking with a bunch of Paradise Druids and just really just attacking with everything. That's so good for me. Uh, he just had his teeth pulled uh, like six days ago, and the the when once the pain medicine wore off, he's he hasn't been eating now because his his mouth has hurt too much. You got me. Hey, you want to come up here? Come here, bud. No, I'm not giving you any more medicine right now. There's gonna be petting ya. I don't know if I have the ability to play another Smothering Tithe here. I probably have to use some of my treasures. I'm definitely playing this. I guess I'm not going to gain three life, am I? I'm just going to kill this Paradise Druid. So I guess I don't gain three life. So I either use a treasure and play another Smothering Tithe, or I just play a Murderous Rider. You would just go face. I, I like getting the Paradise Druids out of there. I like, I like re re restricting their mana, reducing their mana.
They're going to have a lot of artifacts and enchantments over there, too. We don't just win the game, I don't think, this next turn. I'm probably not rampaging the next turn. I'm probably going to wait. I'm probably going to play another Smothering Tithe first. I don't know. I don't know how many centaurs I'm trying. I'm hoping to get. I don't know. They're at 1940. I'm at 24. We'll kind of see how this goes also. I may I may end the stream a little early tonight and not play the Mardu Kalia deck to, t to take care of Hawkeye. Because you still haven't eaten, boy. You need to. So it looks like this is going to be a long league. Yeah, I, I kind of agree, Samal. I, I think I have a hard time seeing me losing this match. Because I think we're going to win this game, and I kind of, for how slow my opponent's playing, I, I, I have a hard time seeing them win this match. I could make 10 3 threes right now, but they would get a lot of 3 threes also. They would be able to get 6 3 threes if they wanted. If I don't play Kalia tonight, I'll play it tomorrow. All right, have a good night, Eric. Gotta have an, an, an angelic deck on Christmas. Because the thing is, is like I could I could go for the kill with Rampage of the Clans, or if I just kind of sit back, it does take up so much. Like they're taking up so much time on their clock. <laughs> there you go, Funko guys. I mean, I have six more mana I can use over here. I got these, you know, these treasure tokens. 
So I could also just sack four of these and rampage also. At that point, I'd have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, now fourteen, now fifteen, now sixteen. I, I have sixteen three threes now. Mm -mm. No, I haven't got through half of my library yet. No, I, I'm in no worry of decking. 16 3 threes probably wins the game. Alright, we double count that real quick. So right now we have 3, 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, 15, 18, 19. So we have 19, we have to use 4 of them. Oh, then this thing that's tapped, 20. So yeah, we have 20, we have to use 4 of them, so we, have to, so we get 16. That probably wins the game. We'll just wait a turn. Yeah, my opponent will get a lot of creatures too. I guess we'll run Club Giant first. Well, they can, yeah, they could, they could get like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I think they'd have like ten blockers. That makes sense. Yep, them eating a food with Wicked Wolf is one less centaur. But they have Gilly Goose make one. And then Wicked Wolf eat one. Alright, so this time this turn I'm gonna rampage. I'm gonna just save this Othakaya. <clears throat> it doesn't Othakaya doesn't put an extra one into play, so I'm, I'm gonna just Othakaya bolt them next turn. This is about to be a lot of centaurs. I mean even Theros is gonna be jealous of how many centaurs they're about to be in play. Triple smothering tithe. Well, I mean, it shouldn't. It shouldn't take this long. My opponents play pretty slow. get one less centaur but I just want to make sure that we don't die
All right, y'all ready? Are y'all ready? You think it's gonna be an instant scoop? That's 23 centaurs on our side. Right now, five on their side. They can make it seven. <laughs> Yay. The cat's eating the food, too. So yeah, they'll get seven creatures if they want to sack the Wicked Wolf. There we go. Nope. Wait, what? That's... You just sacked a centaur. What? That's... You're just sacking your centaurs. They just see destroy all artifacts and enchantments. <laughs> Poor opponent. They don't know how the card works. Centaurs. <laughs> 23 three threes. Combo. Now, so this is end step. They can't, they can't Legion's end. All right, do I attack all individually, or do I attack all? Probably attack all individually, right? You just have to appreciate the the sheer mass of centaurs. The army. The centarmy. Put him down to negative 50. <laughs> Fog incoming. Lose on swing back. <laughs> All right. So we're going to have uh, our Knight of Autumns in here in Nebraska to destroy their artifacts and enchantments. I think I want two to Sparks as well for Wicked Wolf and for Garrick. Because I don't like Murderous Rider as much. So I'm just going to replace two Murderous Riders with two to Sparks. Guess I'm going to take out an Oath of Kaya, a Golden Egg. Yeah, I guess I could turn the deck into just being really defensive with just, you know, 12 minutes left on my opponent's clock. You know, play more Oath of Kaya's and Golden Eggs and stuff like that. Thinking this, no. We'll see. This hand is great, except for not having mana. But 
We're on the draw, and we have a temple. We'll find lands. I guess this is a way for me to lose, though. In 11 minutes, if I keep a really bad hand and we get run over. We still need a green land. There we go. Always had it. Yeah, Torbrand list, you can get it there. Or on, or you, uh, it's also, the video's also on YouTube where you can check it out there and, um, uh, what's it called? And there's a link to the deck in the description of the YouTube video. Am I paying two life to play Gilded Goose? You're welcome, Chris. Oh, Fleppo. Happy holidays. Thanks, Andrea. <clears throat> All right, so they got three cards still over there. Man, my opponent is just living in paradise over there. Living in paradise. I'm blowing up the crumb. The trail of the crumb. Speaking of the trail of the crumb, it would have been like it's it's enticing to just play my own and then you know basically three mana to hit, try to hit another land drop. But I don't basically this all of this I can handle pretty easily. And so I just want to get rid of theirs. <laughs> Night of Autumn is Centaur Slayer from the future. Okay, so we have Golgari Queen that can kill the Witch's Oven. Or I let them have Witch's Oven for a turn and look for mana. And I'm going to look for mana. Let's shuffle that back. So I know it's kind of awkward that I have Cauldron Familiar, but I wanted Forest.
but like I, I want the forest but yeah so like we're gonna just kind of do it this route I'll crack this food with the gilded goose let my trailer crumbs uh, spend the green mana <laughs> this may have been the slowest match ever. I I kind of feel like maybe my opponent just has like a slow computer, slow internet connection kind of thing. Arena's tough on computers. I I'm of course am one that know that knows that. As you all know, I've, I've had to, you know, had to go get a new computer just because of Arena. But at this point, they have to win this game. And another game in seven and a half minutes, and we're nowhere near losing. Um, probably an extra Oath of Kaya in the main, or or Realm Cloak Giant. One of those two in the main to replace the Rider, and then sideboard. You probably need another thing that kills like Nissa in the sideboard. So like another like to spark. Basically with with losing out on a rat rider, I'd be worried about planeswalkers. Like Yeah, the Gruel Giants deck would definitely benefit from the new God in Theros, um, but it was it was a it was a pretty janky deck. The Gruel Giants. It, it's not it's not really a competitive one, to be honest. Oh, I won't forgive this. I should win with the Vraska minus nine. No, we got one with Centaurs. Finally give up. Just outgrinded him. And we're 2-0. Yeah, we yeah, we rampate that's how we won game one. We made twenty nine centaurs. Is that right? Twenty nine? We made a lot. 27 23 23 we made 23 centaurs yeah 23 <laughs> Well, this match, we may not just have time just to sit around forever, like we have been. This is going to be the toughest match that we face so far.
just trying to get a good amount of damage in it. Try to get, you know, four, five, six artifacts or enchantments over here. And just surprise them. Whoa! Mega cheer! Johnny Pot Pie saying Merry Christmas. Hope you have a wonderful holiday and awesome 2020. Thank you so much there, Johnny Pot Pie. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you. So now that they have Fires of Invention, it's pretty easy for them to pay the extra mana now. So right now, Rampage would just kill... Or just make four things for us. Thank you, Johnny. Ugh. Oh, punished. They didn't pay the two mana for Smothering Tithe. Mm. That card hurts. I know my responsibility. That hurts quite a bit. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Because obviously, cause because of Deafening Clarion, you know, like that, that just hurts because of Clarion. Now we can't now I can't rampage. <sighs> Do we think they have Clarion? Gosh, why does why is Teferi so busted? Murderous Rider. Darn.
Why does Teferi have to exist? Um, basically, Golgari Queen can kill Teferi, doesn't really do a whole lot else. It's like both a good and a bad Smothering Tithe matchup. If they have if they have fires, they have the extra mana. If they don't, you know, like their their card draw spells just trigger Smothering Tithe, like their Cavaliers. Well, you just saw you say Vraska can go. You just you just saw Teferi kill us, right? I don't love duress because of all their cavaliers. We're gonna play one duress though, because Clarion, Teferi, and Fires are all important cards. No, bolt you. No, that's what that's what uh, Torbran does with Mayhem. Dealt turns all the triggers into bolts. <laughs> it looks like we get smothering tithe. Mm. 
There you go, Storm. You got it. Witch's Oven would be like our, I guess that's our best card to find because that that helps us get more food to be able to use trailer crumbs more. I'm known for my excellent type. Let's try this. It's a waste. Well, that thing's out of here now. That may have been the waste of my swift end. We'll kind of see. Could have just attacked with the, the two cats still. They block one. I can bring it back. Sorry, I'm late. Here we go. Looks like Clarion, because they didn't pay the two mana for smothering tithe. So I assume this is Clarion. Do you want me to phase you out of time? I don't care what you do. Dang. That's awesome. That gives us another food. That we are not going to have otherwise. <clears throat> and no Clarion for the Cauldron Familiars. That's more like it. Cool. Um, I 
No, my, my opponent just accidentally clicked through attacks. They they definitely should have attacked. Trail of crumbs. Doing that work. Hey, Telster, Merry Christmas. So I want two mana for the Gilda Goose to be able to make another food, and then I want two mana to be able to act to be able to pay for both of these trailer crumbs. So that left me with like three extra mana. So I played the Murderous Rider, where I could have spent four mana to play the Golgari Queen, but then that would have taken a treasure. So then if I Golgari Queen, I'm probably gonna tick up and sack the other treasure. So I decided to get the Murderous Rider and play instead. Okay, so I do need something to get rid of this <clears throat> Cavalier of Gales. That'll do. Speaking of things to get rid of the Cavalier of Gales, that one will do. All right, so they didn't want to draw those cards that they put back with the Cavalier of Gales. I could kill the Cavalier of Gales with one of these things and then make them shuffle and everything, but since they put... If they would have kept something on top, I could have done that. But I'd rather dispark it. So they don't get the trigger of putting it back, shuffling, you know, redrawing it, all that kind of stuff. Another oven. Everyone is expendable. Well, 
What am I doing on time? 19? Alright. They're done. Yeah, finally, I think that's what we're going to be doing, is doing the Vraska minus 9. At least that's what it was. That's what it was looking like. Down, down, down. So we saw them playing uh, Ether Gusts also. Maybe we don't play Duress. Get an extra Night of Autumn. That Night of Autumn destroy like you know, destroying fires of invention is so powerful. Maybe I don't need smothering tithe. Maybe we don't need Smothering Tithe. And we'll play Duress instead. Because we saw there Smothering Tithe versus Teferi, not necessarily the best. But the game goes like really long like this, they'll just be able to pay. I don't know. <laughs> smothering Tithe is good for psychological combat. True. All right, well, I, we do not want to turn one duress. Oh, wow, three to the bottom. I was going to say we don't want to turn one duress because... Ooh, now do I want to turn one duress? No. Because especially after Sphinx of Foresight, if they keep, like, cards on top, they're probably keeping, like, Teferi and Fires of Invention. Man. Man. These are both good. The Teferi helps them hit more land drops. By drawing cards, the Disenchant doesn't draw cards. Well, that makes that makes my trail worse. So now I need what five mana to play Trail of Crumbs because I need to be able to pay it for two, crack a food for two, and activate it for one. Yeah, the the Torbrand sacrifice we didn't we didn't have like the heart the most difficult league, but yeah, it felt it felt pretty legit. So yeah, I recommend checking that one out.
So I have the five mana here, but then by, by playing the Trail of Crumbs, it lets my opponent use this two mana. So instead, I'm gonna they're gonna Sphinx a Foresight here, obviously. We kill it with Murderous Rider, saved a spark. Now I Trail of Crumbs and be able to replace it. And now if they want to... If they want to disenchant the Trail of Crumbs... I'll just take the Swamp. <clears throat> then it takes two mana here, and it makes it so like they're not like playing a Cavalier or something also, you know what I mean? So we kind of take up this turn also with that Disenchant. This is not a good time to be drawing these Rampage of the Clans. Good job, Velvet. Way to make it to Platinum. Good job. Well, you can't you can't leave Platinum now that you're in it. So even if you lose your next 50 matches, you're only going to go to... Um, you know, back to, like, you know, Platinum 4, so... There's no real harm. That's a good draw. They scried to the top. So I, I assume that they didn't just scry Temple of Triumph to the top. Bounce the Murderous Rider. Let's slow this down. Don't worry. I got this. Yeah, good job, Velvet. Alright, so we got Bone Crusher Giant out of here. And we got Teferi out of here.
Scry two to the top. Come on. Hmm. Ten. Uh, yep. Okay, we have we have to block two things. So yeah, we gotta we gotta do this. There's just no way to kill my opponent this next turn, is there? Kill the goose. It's a flyer. Not dead. But obviously they get millions of scries with Sphinx of Insight and, and Castle Vantress. No, I... I mean, I think I boarded out the Othakayas that we could have, like, drawn into, I think. Of course, now I don't have the mana to activate or to cast Rampage of the Clans. Trust me. You'll thank me later. I just want to sacrifice that. Not let them draw a card. No, probably not. Maybe I do. I don't think so.
pity we couldn't have been allies. Yeah, the next... Yeah, basically, the reason not to sacrifice it is to be able to block the Sphinx of Foresight still. Be able to play it the next turn. Have a, have a blocker in the air if they have another flying creature like that. If I, if I didn't sacrifice it, this would have been tough to survive. So yeah, they got to spend two mana if they want to attack with Cavalier of Gale. Man, this is such a close game. I'm sure my opponent knows about Rampage of the Clans. Even though they haven't seen it because of how I've been playing and everything, I'm sure they can deduce that I have Rampage of the Clans in hand. So that's what, that's what they're you know, going over right now. Yeah, because we, we have played it before. We can sack the goose to make a fifth artifact. So we can make five three threes. We need three of them to connect. So that means they would need three blockers. But obviously if they pressure us enough here as well. This is a difficult turn. I'm glad I did not sacrifice the goose, though. I'm glad we had this goose, because otherwise we would have been dead. Down, 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 down. Hmm. Yeah, now we just need two to connect, but we could have only made four after doing that. Oh, I guess, yeah, because I would have had to sack the goose. Yeah, because I would have had to sack the goose to have another one. All right, I think I have the mana to... It's good to have an even number of mana, and by using this, I won't have an even number of mana. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. Ugh. Darn, I wish I would have done the forest. Yeah, we're, we definitely don't have this one or anything. My opponent definitely has some really good draws that could, could win on the game. Yeah, like, like Clarion. Yeah, it would definitely be devastating. So 
Six is a good mana to, number of mana to have, though. We can activate Goose and to have Rampage of the Clans. Interesting. They had that to kill the Goose last turn, and they didn't. Interesting. Basically, I think this is the turn. My opponent needs to kill me. Scry to the bottom and then Drew. Did not activate Castle Vantress. They had Clarion. Wow. Nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's like exactly enough to kill me. I can go to 15. And they have 15 in the air. Are you kidding me? That was the card they needed. That was definitely the card they needed. in the air. I can gain six here off of these food tokens. I go to exactly 15. Oh, wait. I counted wrong? Oh, I go to 18? Oh, because I gained 9. I'm gaining 9, not 6. I'm gaining 9. Okay, well then, then we can save this and just go to 1. Okay. We're not taking. I was. I count that wrong. Sacrifices must be made. Realm cloak giant. Giant killer.
I think I have to do that this turn because I want the giant killer in play. Because I don't have I don't have use for that extra one mana right now, and that gives me a little bit of use for that one mana. They can they can just kill me here though. They can kill me though. With just Cavalier of Flame. That definitely kills me. I can't it's summoning sick, I can't tap her right now. I can't I'd have, I'd have to wait till next turn to use it anyway. Uh that Clarion. It's devastating. That was the card they needed. What was that Clary on that turn? Just so much scry. That 4-4 and everything. Oh well. Yeah, but I don't have any white mana now. Yeah, Kenrith would have given it haste, but but I don't have any white mana now. Real good match, though. I needed the, the Smothering Tithes that I boarded out. Well, also, I just need to draw more removal that I did board in. I would have loved to have Quench and or I would have sorry I would have loved to have Smothering Titan play against them. Could have got the other Witches of it in play. This looks good for us though right now.
They're going to need, you know, a flyer. I don't know, Gadwick. I don't know. No, my rampage. Of course, we want this Bone Crusher Giant out of there. Cool. Darn. <clears throat> That's not bad, though. Not a bad trade. I should take the land. Well, maybe not. We didn't get to Rampage of the Clans. Well, what sleeves are my opponent playing that it has this background? Ah, the Cryptic Man. All right, we're going to take out Realm Cloak Giant and Golden Egg and play Duress. And an extra Vraska. Vraska kills all their things. Basically, so does Othakaya. Let's play an extra Othakaya. That seems like it's pretty good. But it's slow. It has inevitability. At least seems like it does. This is a really good hand. I kind of want to take the opt. Honestly. Yeah, like they're just going to go buncho cutthroat. <clears throat> I need a an oven. Another Brazen Borrower. This game seems kind of over. I mean, I need mana. Take care, man.
So we need Othakaya to kill... There's an oven. I'll worry about that later. I don't know why they didn't attack. Guess they just forgot to attack. So they can only play one thing. Well, I guess they could find another opt. But basically I want to use the Othakaya before it doesn't kill stuff. Uh, do I risk it? They they did scry to the top. Yay. Uh, still need land. What's up, Justice? Thanks for getting that resub. Sub number 11. I appreciate that. Thanks. An entire year now. Thank you so much. These brazen borrowers are going to be rough. I think they just scried something to the top, I think. Which means it could be a counter spell. Which I sure hope not, because I need to swift end a brazen borrower.
And that's basically just as bad. I'm just dead. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's a good hand. Bunch of cutthroats and brine. Brineborn cutthroats and brazen borrowers. I'll take out the Citadel for a second, Braska. I don't really I don't think Noxious Grass was needed. Well, I would absolutely love to resolve Smothering Tithe. That has the ability to get us a lot more mana. But if they have, you know, creature heavy hand again, we're going to need the removal. I think that's the easiest way for us to lose is them having a creature heavy hand. So we'll keep the other guy up. Pretty ugly looking hand for us right here. Awesome, JJ. Awesome, glad you're liking that. This would have been a good time to be able to slam down uh, Smothering Tithe, especially with drawing the Rampage of the Clans. But Othakaya will do its job. Ugh, man, we drew another Othakaya too. Man, I would have loved having Smothering Tithe. Um... Yeah, you could. Yeah, I think you can have like a, a bigger red deck. Yeah, with Torbrand and, and the Chandras, like six. The emblem from six mana Chandra doesn't get triggered. Like Torbrand does not make that do multiple damage for a wide variety of of reasons. That still only does one damage during their upkeep. If I keep this, we shuffle the Smothering Tithe back. No, we should probably put it to the bottom. They're up to seven cards in hand. They don't play anything here, they just have to discard. Probably have counter spells for days over there. At least 
The more lands that we play, the easier it is for us to play around Quench. Yep, the emblem is colorless. It's not red. It's also the, the opponent controls the emblem, and Torbrand says things that you control. You don't control it. Come on, deck. Like, you know, last game we had two lands. We couldn't, couldn't draw another land. We had two lands. This game, we get all of these lands. Well, as far as lands go, Castle Ardenvale is the best one to draw. Now they know about Rampage of the Clans. Sure. Pretty surprised they didn't name Ardenvale. They're doing that instead of going to discard. Yeah, Torbrand is probably just an underutilized card just in general. People just only play it in mono red, like mono red aggro. Probably has better things to be doing. Well, not not necessarily better things to be saying, doing. Sorry, that's not what I meant to say. I meant to say something like it probably has other things that it could be doing. You love Torbrand with four mana Ral. Oh, that is pretty awesome. See, there's a spicy one. You play an instant or sorcery. Or you copy a spell, you do one damage with Ral. Right? You do any of those, you do one damage. And so Torbrand, you do three damage. Is that right? Yeah, Bone Crusher is just, just a busted card. Yeah, it's just a, a four of and everything. If you're playing red, you're playing a bunch of Bone Crushers. Yeah, that could be pretty sweet. Opponent, where are you going? Does my opponent not like my townsfolk? They're just hanging out. Okay, there we go. Probably had connection issues. Full house. That 
They're not even activating castle like on end step at all. <laughs> I had to say something. Kylie deck looks looks real spicy. Definitely LB. Alright, I think they scribed two to the top. So they got four mana. They're dead. Let's turn into a burn deck. I'm not even gonna attack. I mean, well, they they just they're just dead because they know about two other Kayas, and like they're just dead on on board of like what they know about. But they're even more dead. Oh, you were even more dead. All right, three and one. Let me go check. Yay. Hawkeye ate his, his lunch from earlier. Yay. Yay, that's so good. So how am I sequencing all these cards? Just lead with the goose? Lead with the oven. I just lead with oven. And then next turn, goose cat. Goose cat. No. Hawkeye's not sick, he just. He, his teeth were, were really bad, and so they got pulled six days ago. But then the last, like, two, three days, he hasn't been eating. And uh, I took him in. It turned out I think think his mouth is still just really sore from uh, from that. And his, his painkiller shot wore off. And so that's why he wasn't eating, and so... Now he has new new medicine. It's kind of hard to play Trailer Crumbs this turn and activate Trailer Crumbs, so I'll just get this other Witch's Oven in play. I think my opponent's playing a beginner deck. Need to click fast. Alright. 
let's look for land. Land. Hey, Pitch. Merry Christmas. Have a great night, Storm. I'll see y'all tomorrow. No, no, it's not. So Hawkeye wasn't eating because he was mad. It's because his, because because his mouth hurt a lot. It was just too painful. Zagana could be a little bit of trouble giving creatures a trample. But I'm also at a million life. And that's only going up. So we're just looking for Rampage of the Clans, but of course we, we don't get to find Rampage of the Clans off of Trail of Crumbs. Trample. I don't get more cards with Trail of Crumbs, but it's okay. We're gonna have plenty of cards. Trying to do this as fast as I can, opponent. I'm sorry. Out of ten. <laughs> no, nobody did Luke D. I mean it's it's also just kind of the design. I mean if they would if they would just have it auto sack the food, it wouldn't be so bad. Really wish it would auto sack food. What's up, Sothian? Or like when you click Witch's Oven and then sacrifice a creature and then you click your creature, it, just just go and do it. If you if you click that and then you also click another creature, just do it. Don't have to click submit. Like this, it should just go into play. Don't need to click one and click submit. Mother Tithe. Man. Yeah, the Othakaya basically kills them. They don't have much much land. Or much life. Sorry, they don't have much life. 
but come on. If we're going to be fighting through all these Cauldron Familiars, Oven, Trailer Crumbs, all this stuff, we need to be doing our cool stuff like Smothering Tithe. Yeah, we are getting pretty good at, yeah, pretty good chances of drawing Rampage, it's true. Because we've not seen Rampage even with all these other cards. None of those are Rampage. So there's three left. We got 39 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So three out of 31, so we're basically at a 10% chance. But yeah, my, my opponent's playing a, a pre-con deck. Love it. Good attack. It's too good for me. Um. Hmm. All right, I gave us one one more shot. Of drawing rampage of the clans. Christmas Xian. will make a nice souvenir. As long as we win, nothing else matters. Clicking as fast as I can. <laughs> I'm trying, Swanky. I'm trying. I'll play a second Realm Cloak Giant just in case instead of Raska. Hopefully, we get to do some cool Rampage of the Clan stuff this time. Both at 19. The sky diver. Goose is a good card, of course. But we'll just put it down to the bottom. We don't really need it. Want to find Smothering Tithe? That'd be the best card to draw. Right now, and then rampage of the clans later. Come. 
Combine Guild Mage. So I'm just kind of working towards casting Realm Cloak Giant on turn 5 right now. No, the adventures are just permanents while in the while in the deck. They're just they just look they just count as like creatures while they're in the deck. So they just count as the permanents while they're in your hand or or in the deck. So you cannot duress away a murderous rider or any any of these. Proliferate. Okay, so they have all spells in hand. <clears throat> Oh, whoops. I didn't block the familiar first, did I? <laughs> uh, let's try to go too fast. I did not block the familiar first. Whoops. I was trying to play fast. I think we'll be okay. Honestly, I can just wait until they... I can just wait on that until they adapt. But you never know, maybe they have like negate post board and they like negate that and then they have like that 8 8 trampler that like kills me. Never know. I don't I don't know. Hey Rex. Yeah, hope hope you had a good a good day. Sounds like you had a nice busy one. Um Naya was okay. We we lost to um, we lost to Mono Red, which that that deck is still just a little slow for Mono Red, and something else that's kind of similar or no, well, I guess it's not similar, but something else I don't remember what. Get out of here, Flya. Um, yeah, I'm, oh, we lost to Team or Adventure. That's what we lost to. Which both of those make sense. Uh, you know, like, we played against Counterspell deck and all of our Chandras, and... And uh, Ceratops were awesome.
I'm going to be cracking one of these foods just to gain three life. I'll just show them the the folly of bouncing murderous rider you know like help help them learn oh they have counter spell they're gonna bounce their own hybrid now okay bounce the hybrid back that's good good play good play I like it Good play, opponent. I just don't really feel like paying life right now. be fine. Rampage of the clans. Rampage of the clans. They don't counter rampage of the clans. Yes, I have lethal with Bolo Citadel right now and bring it back Cauldron Familiar. But no, we are going to cast this rampage of the clans. Eleven, eleven, trample, sweet. But they just have fling, do eleven damage to me. <laughs> Mountain fling, no. Here we go. Only 15. Attack. to do Rampage of the Clans. All right, we're, we are four and one. 
Final boss time. Alright, let's let's get this final boss. Oh yeah, I know I know I could have basically done like the attack all kind of thing. But it's more fun showing like all fourteen creatures whenever we worked that hard for it. All right, final boss. Yeah, that's a, a kind of newer thing. Yuck, these hands. But yeah, like the number how it says like the creatures and it says like the X14, if you just click the X14, it'll attack all of them. Okay, another mirror type match like we had earlier. Oh no, this time my opponent has trailer crumbs out grinding. Last time we had trailer crumbs and life was better. Yeah, Hawkeye did eat his food. That was very good. At least ate some of it. So as you can see, I'm, I'm valuing just making more food tokens with the Gilded Goose right here instead of playing a tap land, instead of playing Fable Passage. Yeah, they have the, they have the Holy Trinity. If they find Mayhem Devil, we in real trouble. We in real trouble. Because now to cast Murderous Rider, I do have to sacrifice something, whether it's Fable Passage or a food token to the goose. Or I pay two life. This is just one damage. I need more life for my citadel. Uh, 
Uh oh. That thing blows up, Citadel. I don't like that. Definitely have the better hand this time. Man, this is tiring. Yeah, why to final boss so hard? Okay, okay. We both get three three threes, but they get rid of Witch's Oven and Trailer Crumbs. Now they get two three threes and I get three of them. Ugh. Whoa. That is not a good decision. They just got rid of their three four their valuable three four to try to kill a three three. But then I just get Cauldron Familiar back into play. Yeah, so we got rid of the Brontodon, an oven, and a trail of crumbs. For one card. Why does that have to be your last card? Garrick, you already had everything else. <laughs> you don't need that too. This is probably not where I want to be rampaging the clans. I would guess. Go, Citadel, go. Yeah, how we're casting, because of Citadel. Citadel, we can play the top card of our library by just spending life equal to the CMC instead of, like this, yeah, this artifact is just super powerful. What? That thing had six loyalty? Oh, because they sacked. Right. Now this is a hunting party. Um, oh, come on. This is not an instant. I don't get to just cast it at instant speed. That'd be nice, though.
Silly Garrick. We were so close to winning that and turning the corner with how my opponent played it with that Rampage of the Clans. We were so close. I think I still want one Citadel, one Realm Cloak Giant. Basically take out Othakaya. Maybe take out just kinda of take out Golden Egg, I guess, like like we kinda of always do. I guess Duress hits almost everything, right? Would I rather have Dispark? Like Dispark's another thing that kills Oh, they have Mayhem Devil though too. Maybe we need another Realm Cloak Giant. We need to go another to Spark for Garrick and another Realm Cloak Giant because of Mayhem Devil. All right, we'll do that. No duress. Yeah, I thought I had to come back too until Garrick. Ugh, final boss, so tough. All right, so I'll lead with the goose and then play the trail of crumbs, and so that I could can sack a food immediately and get the trail of crumbs trigger. That was a pretty sick rampage of the clans, though, for how far we were behind <clears throat> to basically be even after that. All right, this time we have the Trail of the Crumb. We can find all the all the food. Oh no, they have the Trail of the Crumb as well. This one's looking pretty close. Seems like we all have about the same cards. That's fine. Okay, so they're at 23 minutes. I'm at 24. <clears throat> this would be a good time to find some othering tithe, I guess. It costs us four mana, but it could get us a whole lot of mana and really set up our rampage of the clans. Because I don't think that they would want to be... Um, 
spending their their time paying. I guess it's no different if I just sack the familiar and then bring it right back. I was thinking that I want both familiars here to attack, but I guess I could have dealt one damage to them and gained one life. <clears throat> but I want to be able to attack with both of these. So I want to be able to kill Vraska. They missed a land drop? That's that's big. <laughs> no, rampage. We don't need a third rampage. Smothering Tithe. Darn. One mana short for Smothering Tithe. So next turn, do we play Citadel or do we play Tithe? Just kicked a Josu vest under a fire zone invention and put 20 power on the battlefield. Awesome. So like, because what is that? Is the kicker, what is it, like six? Is that right? So you just have to spend six mana on it? Is that right? So the kicker is six for Josu and Fight with Fire. Guess we're gonna have to make a historic deck. So I went with this because I like playing Bola Citadel when I still have a land drop. So that like if the top cards land, I, I, I'm not just done immediately. I like it being able to, to play a land. All right, so just so I don't have to respond every single thing. Oh, gosh, I'm still gonna have to respond because Goose can sack the food. Ugh. And there we go, because yeah, if they would have Brontodon destroy the Citadel before I got any value because the top card was a land, I would feel pretty bad.
This one's not looking good anymore. I probably had to do with drawing the, the triple rampage. But you never know, maybe we find, you know, our Knight of Autumns and Braskas and things like that, blow these things up. I guess I probably should have done instead of playing Citadel. Ooh, they're paying the two. At least get rid of their card advantage engine. Cool, thank you, Rex. Yeah, feel free to send that over. But you know we need to we need to stabilize. The goose will be able to add it, uh, make another food here. It's the final countdown. It's a close game. Long grindy game. I'm up one minute on time. I'll take that. Stop. Oh, Donald never goes away. All right, so they're making it harder for me to find witches' ovens. But now double smothering tithe. We're gonna start getting a lot of artifacts, and we're just gonna have the goose make food. We'll crack the food to gain life, to stay alive, and we're gonna rampage and win this with some centaurs. That's the plan. Hmm.
Oh my gosh, we're gonna get so many. F oh my gosh, we're gonna get so many of these. Because if I just spark, they're just gonna. I don't know, they're just gonna do this in response. Huh, they didn't sack more cauldron familiars in response. I was expecting them to sack some cauldron familiars in response. Of course, we played Rampage of the Clans last game, so they gotta. They have to have that under consideration. Centaur time! Centaurs! Unite! You better not have Legion's End. <laughs> so this is 45 power. In play with these things. <laughs> Epic downfall. I'll show you your epic downfall. I mean, Oko's jealous of all my 3 threes. So yeah, so you can click the 15 here and they all 15 attack. But we're not doing that. But for those of y'all at home, you can do that. I want to show that 15 things are attacking. Get him. So that's still 27. That's that's lethal. GG. You need to block with a goose. Rampage of the clans. Okay, that was only game two against the final boss. We are not done yet. Hmm. Do I want to play one Othakaya over one Realm Cloak Giant? No, we'll play the Realm Cloak Giant. All right. They're like one minute behind me on time. We're, we both have, I think we both have enough time. We're both like less than 15 minutes, or like more than 15 minutes. Or I guess they're right at 15. I'm at more than that. I'm at like 16. So, like, 
Time shouldn't come into play. I'm at 17. Well, this hand could definitely lose. But we got Smothering Tithe, so we're going to keep. If they have an awesome hand, we're probably going to lose. I'm just going to crack these Fable Passages right away to not only take lands out of the deck, but then also because of their Mayhem Devils, but mostly get lands out of the deck. Ooh. They did not have a good hand, and we drew one card. Uh, one card was a good draw. I'm guessing they need to just draw black mana. They probably have a bunch of cauldron familiars and mayhem devils and everything like that. They need black mana. Oh no. They got the trail of the crumb. Well, I think we're going to make a lot of treasures. <laughs> I don't think my opponent's paying two mana anytime soon. But it looks like they're going to start being able to hit their land drops now. We're going to have a real game, but... Ooh. Donald. Donald's in there. Would you like to pay for? Smothering Tithe! Smothering Tithe. Smothering the final boss. Smothering Tithe. GG's. Gotta get that victory fanfare. All right, five and one with Amp Abzan Rampage. So that there we go. Um, obviously, the uh, Cauldron Familiar, Gilda Goose, Witches Oven, Trailer Crumbs. Obviously, that package is just really, really strong. Um, I liked it here with White with Othakaya. That's a good permanent to grab. Um, and, of course, Smothering Tithe, awesome permanent to grab. But, but yeah, I really liked our, our top end of Smothering Tithe, Rampage of the Clans. That was pretty fun. Um, you know, again, putting that in white, you get Realm Cloak Giant, which is pretty awesome as a, a permanent to grab. Uh, maybe playing the Golden Eggs is a little much. Maybe you don't really need to play the Golden Eggs. And you can have a little bit more interaction there, like another Golgari Queen, another Othakaya kind of thing. Or just, like, you know, the Knight of Autumns in the main instead of the Golden Eggs. Um yeah, like that that's definitely reasonable. But uh the deck felt very strong. Uh we did lose to the Jeskai Fires, but I think we were a little unlucky. I mean, I think we have good removal be you know, besides like the four Murderous Riders having the giant killers and the disparks. We we just didn't draw very many of those cards against them. And, you know, we had some Realm Cloak Giants to destroy all the creatures, but we didn't draw very much removal against them. Drew a lot of um ovens, geese, and cats. Which happens. Those cards are awesome. So yeah, maybe the golden eggs aren't necessary and you could just play like the Knight of Autumns in the main and then you have three more sideboard slots for like Jeskai Fires for getting some more creature removal like Dispark and Giant Killer and stuff like that. Dispark is just awesome against Jeskai Fires. It's like the best card. Um, no, I don't think Epic Downfall is better than Giant Killer because trailer you know being a permanent is really important because you know with trailer crumbs when you activate it you you grab a permanent card so you get to grab giant killer that's why giant killer is is so good and of course instant speed is really nice against questing beast and against the cav the red cavaliers and kenrith those things that have haste with 
um, Jet Sky Fire, so having instant speed's really nice too. But basically, just sparks just a lot better epic downfall. No, I am not off tomorrow for Christmas. No, I'll be streaming tomorrow, uh, three to ten as well. And I think that's I think that will be it for tonight. And we'll do we'll do the Mardu Kalia tomorrow. Um, I guess I'll probably I could just start off with Kalia tomorrow at three o'clock. Um, yeah, we could just start with Kalia. Um, but yeah, this league of course took. About, it's, we've been recording for three hours, 14 minutes. So, <laughs> yeah, that was a long one. Um, I'm going to take care of Hawkeye, and we'll see y'all for uh, then uh, at 3 o'clock tomorrow. That was y'all on YouTube. Hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think of the deck with Smothering Tithe, Rampage of the Clans. Let me know what you think of those two cards um, and, you know, all the centaurs. If you're playing it at home, let me know how many centaurs you get. If you get uh, – what, what do we have there? 20 – uh, I don't know. I guess 23, I think, was the most centaurs we got. With 23, I think. But anyway, that's Abzan Rampage. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.